Hi everybody, today I will show you about single product page design in WooCommerce tutorial. So let's just begin. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is to go inside the plugin and click on the add new plugin. And from here, I will search for shop engine. Okay. Alright, so as you can see here that we have the shop engine Elementor WooCommerce builder. So we have to install this. Click on the activate. Alright, so now what you need to do, you have to go inside the shop engine. Alright, so whenever you click on the shop engine for the first time, it's going to come up with this basic configuration. You just have to perform this. That's pretty basic. So I have already done this. So now what I need to do, I just simply go inside the widgets here. And from the widgets, I will simply enable all the available widgets. Click on save changes. So now you can see this. We also have the modules. So if I just click here, you can see here, most of these modules are the part of the pro version. So only the four modules are free and they are already enabled. So now what we need to do, we have to go inside the builder templates. All right. So here in the builder templates, I have to build the template for our single product page. Okay. So let's click on add new. So this would be the product page. Okay. So the type of the template would be single product page or we also have these other options. So right now we can simply click on the single and we'll activate this and after this as you can see this we have these templates here that you can use by yourself but right now we're gonna simply start with the scratch okay so now let's click on add it with elementor all right so now we have to select the page here right now so let's select this click on add it with elementor all right so now in here in the elementor editor we we'll simply design our single product page okay so for that we're gonna simply use the shop engine elements okay so the first thing I will need to add the container here. So this would be the flex box, two column structure. And I need to add the space at the top. So let's just add some space. All right, so this is looking better now. So now what I need to do, the first thing that I need to do, I have to add the product image. All right, so as you can see this, we have this product images. So let's just drag this and put this here. All right, so this is the product image. So in here, you can see here that we have the position. So that is bottom right now. And we also have this icon. All right. So after this, we have the show page. So since we don't have any sales, that is why uh, you can't see the show page. Okay. So after if I just go into the style. So in this style, as you can see this, we have the image, we have the light box, zoom icon, we have the flash sale page. And after this, we have this slider name. Okay. So right now I'm going to simply add some border radius here onto our image maybe all right so in the gallery thumbnails we have the width we have the border type we have the border radius and you can also see these other options and we also have this light box zoom icon so you can see this we can change the color of our icon we can change the color of the background of our icon and you can also see these other options here all right so i can also change the position of this as well so let's put this to the left side and after this you can see this we can style the sale page and we can also style the slider name Okay, right now what we need to do, let's just go back and we would like to add the product title here. Okay, so let's just drag this and this here. So in the product title, you will be able to see the product title. So from here, you can change the HTML tag of it. You can change the alignment of this and you can also change the text color of the title. And after this, if you wanted to change the typography of the title, you can simply do it. Okay, so after this, we're going to use the excerpt. All right. So now you can see this, we have the product excerpt. Okay, so I'm going to simply drag this and put this here just after the product title. And this would look fine. So in here, we only have the color typography and the alignment. And after this, I would like to add product price. All right, so you can see here, we have the product price here by the shop engine. So let's just drag this and put this here after our text. And in here, in the price, you can see this, we can change the alignment, we can change the typography, we can change the color, and we can also change the space in between, and we can also change the color of the sale price, and we can also customize the sale price, okay? So right now, I'm going to simply change the color of this to a kind of green color. That is actually the color of our theme. That is why we are using the green color here. And we can do the same thing with our title. Okay, so right now what we need to do, I have to add the add to cart now. 
all right so we have the add to cart so let's drag this and put this here after the price and now you will be able to see a lot of the different options here so in the settings we have the quantity settings we have the stock we have the variations we have the data ordering so you can see these options here and you can simply play around with these values and in the style if you go here so right now i would just simply like to change the color of add to cart so let's click here and this would be basically a kind of greenish color that we use for our price so let's see okay so this is looking better and in a similar way i can change the color of the text if you wanted to i can change the border type and you can also see these other options here as well okay and we also have the quantity input variation variation swatches and the wish list and the compare so if you wanted to change the styling of these options you can simply do it from here okay so after this what we have we basically have the product tips okay so if you wanted to go here with the product description you can simply go here with the product description but right now i'm going to go here with the product tips okay all right so now i'm going to simply click on add container here and i'm going to select the flex box this would be the single column structure and now i will simply search for product tapes so let's just drag this and put this here and now we will have our description and the review here okay so obviously you can edit the text if you want to and here on the sidebar we have our uh, name style and we also have the tab content we have the additional information average rating review heading and you can also see these other options here so if you wanted to do the styling of any one of these things you can simply click on it and then you can simply change the colors change the background and the typography the border type and etc whatever the options that are available here in the product tabs okay after this what we need to do we have to add the related or the recent products so i think that is the related product so let's just write down related products yeah this is it so i'm gonna simply drag this and put this after our product tabs and now you will be able to see the related products here so the related products we basically have the slider if you wanted to disable the slider you can simply do it we have the flash sale we have the sale price and the card button so right now i'm going to simply disable the card button from here and i can also change the number of the products to show so that would be three products all right so after this we have the slider controls so let's click here and in the slider controls so we're gonna have the three slides all right so this is looking better so here we have the option to enable or disable the loop auto play slide speed and you can also see that if you wanted to show the arrows so i'm gonna disable the arrows it doesn't look really great but we're gonna have these dots here okay and after this we have the dot size we have the active dot size and after this we have the advanced options so in the advanced options we only have the two options order by and the order sequence whether you want to put the products in the ascending order or the descending order and in the style you will be able to customize the design of your related products here okay and you can also see the different options here so we have the items so we have the flesh cell we have the image title rating and you can also see the other options here as well okay so now let's just click on the update now we're going to simply click on the preview changes all right so now this is how our product page is looking in the woocommerce so this is all for this video so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel